Hi everyone, and welcome back. In this video, you'll see my painting process for my most recent commission. So as per usual, I started with a grid on my panel and then sketched out the image so that everything was proportional. And I really tried to be deliberate with how I planned out this piece. So I'll try to elaborate on my process as we go along. So when starting with the actual mountain formations, for the most part, I was painting the colors of the rock first, paying attention to midtones, highlights, and shadows. And then afterwards, I would go over with the snow patches. And overall, this piece was a really interesting exercise in layering, because I had to decide what to lay down first in order to then gain details on top of. Because I so often rely on my sketch underneath, and so I never want to cover it up unless I know exactly what I'm doing. So as you can see, once I laid down the color of the snow, along with the shadows as a sort of guide, I was able to go into the trees. And there's no way around it, these trees took a lot of time and detail work in order to get them all right. But I definitely feel like all the detail was worth it in the end. And my tip for painting this amount of trees is to really look for the variety in the shapes and lines so that you're not just doing the repetitive shapes over and over again. And honestly, at this point, I needed a break from the trees, so I decided to go back into the snow details in the mountains. And this was nice for me because it was great to feel the fulfillment of finishing a section when there was so much to go. And I decided to tackle this section of the mountains a little bit differently, since there is more snow on it than in the previous section. So I laid down the larger section of rocks and then painted the snow in between those sections. And this is a sort of technique of starting larger and then graduating to smaller and smaller details. And again, these details just take a lot of time and patience, so be nice to yourself when you're working on something like this. And at this point, I'm starting to finish some of these middle ground sections and then eventually going into the foreground. For most of these trees, it really helped to lay down the darker shadows first and then build up mid-tones and highlights from there. And at this point, you'll start to see me go into the foreground elements, and this is where you can really see the textures of the rock and snow up close. And now you can really start to see the piece come together in its final form. So one of my biggest takeaways from making this painting is the power of patience and diligence. Some of the sections of this painting felt almost agonizing to work on, but I knew if I kept moving forward step by step, I would eventually get where I needed to go. So, after about 100 hours of work, this is our final result. In the relatively short amount of time I had this painting before I shipped it off to the customer, I really enjoyed looking at all the details that I had accomplished. All the textures and highlights and shadows and and every tree and tree branch. And I think this piece is especially meaningful to me because I personally took this photo and was in absolute awe of this landscape when I saw it in person. And I also want to mention that the man that commissioned this painting wanted it done so he could give it to his son as a wedding gift. His son and his fiance were actually engaged in this exact spot in Rocky Mountain National Park and he wanted to commemorate this memory so that he could have it forever. So I definitely felt very honored to have been chosen to create this painting. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Feel free to like and subscribe if you want to, or you can check out my website, which is austinhowlett.com. Take care, and I'll see you next time.